Welcome to Anti English News Bulletin. I am Pao Nakisi. In the beginning, we have the headlines. The election comes in verifying names recommended by the political parties under Pierre Cattery. Ex parties to send the corrected list as per inclusive cluster by 4 p.m. Demonstrations over Peru's political crisis turn violent. Thousands of protesters demand resignation of new president Bolu Arte. And FIFA introduces new match role for World Cup semi-finals and final bowl named after Al Hin to replace Al Rihala, which was used until quarterfinals. Thank you are with NTV English News Bulletin. Now we have the news in details. The Election Commission is scrutinizing and verifying the name list sent by the seven political parties towards the proportional representation category. This comes after parties on Saturday sent names of candidates included in their list or PR system to the Election Commission. The Commission had given them a deadline of three days for the House of Representatives and seven days for the Provincial Assembly to pick the names. Spokesperson for the proportional electoral system at the Election Commission, Guru Prasad Wagli, said, that the name list will be unveiled after verifying the names included in the PR list. Spokesperson Wagley said the Election Commission has provided time till 4 p.m. today to send the corrected list as some received names failed to fit in the specified inclusive cluster. He further said that after the names are found according to the, the election results will be submitted to the president. Only seven parties have cleansed seats under the PR category this time after they sub surpassed the three percent threshold. Meanwhile, the Election Commission has lifted the Election Code of Conduct to be effective from today. The code was in force since September the 28th. The code was in effect for the election to the House of Representatives and Provincial Assembly, which has been held successfully on November the 20th. The decision to leave the code has been shared to the Nepal Government, Office of the Prime Minister and Council of Ministers, Ministries and Constitutional Bodies, according to Election Commission's <coughs> spokesperson, Sally Graham. Podel. With this update, a time to go for a short break, but it's still to come we have. Welcome back. Now to more updates and let's have the latest from the international front. Violence has erupted in Peru's capital as demonstrations over to demand the resignation of their newest president, Dina Bolu Arte. The scheduling of general election to replace her and Congress and the freedom of Pedro Castillo, whom lawmakers ousted from the presidency on Wednesday. The protest rocking Peru heated up particularly in rural areas, a stronghold of Castillo. Police repressing the mobilization used tear gas just as inside the building lawmakers began to session. Peru has had six presidents in the last six years, including three in a single week in 2020, when Congress flexed its impeachment powers. Serbian President Aleksandr Vucic has made his National Security Council as tensions rise in Kosovo between the authorities there and ethnic Serbs. Ethnic Serbs set up roadblocks after Kosovan police were deployed in a disputed independent state, Kosovo, which has had an overwhelmingly ethnic Albanian majority, broke away from Serbia after a war in 1980 in 1998-99. NATO, which has been peacekeeping troops in Kosovo, called on all parties to avoid provocations. The EU has done likewise, warning that it will not tolerate attacks on EU police or the criminal acts. You are watching anti English News Bulletin. Time to go for another break, but it's still to come we have. Welcome back now to more updates. With the gradual resumption of normal living and production, some attractions in southwest China's Chongqing have reopened. In the past few days, the attractions such as Hongyadong, Sikau, Mexin, Wine Town, and Yuangon, a scenic area, have all announced the reopening and adjusted control measures of COVID-19. Officials say at present they only check whether tourists wear masks and will not check the health code or the nucleic acid test result. 
A torrent of people crowded down the avenue that leads to the Basilica to celebrate the Virgin of Guadalupe on her day. To Catholic believers, December 12 is the anniversary of one of the several apparitions of the Virgin Mary witnessed by an indigenous indigenous who claims their journey to the site is an expression of gratitude for miracles they believe the Virgin brought to their lives. The COVID-19 pandemic curtailed the number of pilgrims in 2020. Last year, even with some restrictions still in place, attendance for the December celebrations rose to at least 3.5 million, according to local officials. Bigger numbers, however, are expected this year. You're watching NTV English News Bulletin. More updates lined up on the other side. But before that, let's have the highlights first. Now to the updates from the sports section. Former iconic footballers Brazil's Kaká and Spain's Iker Casillas presented the official match ball to be used in the 2022 FIFA World Cup semi-finals and final in Doha of Qatar on Sunday. The new ball is called Al Hill, which in Arabic translates as the dream and replaces the current ball Al Rihala, which means which in Arabic means the journey. Two-time winners Argentina take on 2018 finalist Croatia in the first semi-final on Tuesday before defending champions France face surprise package Morocco in the other last four class on Wednesday. With the final due to be played at the Luzel iconic stadium on Sunday. Ex-Spain international and 2010 world champion Casillas expressed his disappointment at his country head coach Luis Enrique being dismissed. Over 13,000 runners donned festive costumes on Sunday for the 44th Christmas Corrida just outside Paris. After last year's cancellation and despite the nearly freezing temperatures, runners were happy to jump into their Santa Claus outfits again. Runners competed in various races with the fifth of the day proving to be the most popular when 2,000 people dressed as Santa Claus or Elves run up for the 10-kilometer run through the town. Some 500 volunteers helped to organize the event. Well, with this update, we come to the end of this English News Bulletin. But before we say goodbye, let's have a quick reminder of the major stories that have made to the headlines of this edition. Commission verifying names recommended by the political parties under the PR category asks parties to send the corrected list as per inclusive cluster by 4 p.m. Demonstrations over Peru's political crisis turn violent. Thousands of protesters demand a resignation of new president Bolu Ate. And FIFA introduces new match ball for World Cup semi-finals and final ball named Al Him to replace Al Rihala, which was used until the quarterfinals. Well, that's all we have in this edition of English News Bulletin. We shall see you again with next round of English Bulletin at 6 in the evening. Till then, have a great time ahead and do stay tuned with us to catch the latest news updates and other programs. Namaste.